What's up y'all, it's your boy Nick from Red Dad Builds and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how I transform my dark dingy shop lights from this to this. Just kidding. But it is a lot brighter in here and if you want to know how to make your garage or workshop a lot brighter then follow along in this video. And as always... So I ordered the LED tube light bulbs from Amazon, which I will link in the description down below. They come in a pack of 12 with some very, very vague instructions. They look very similar to the original tube light bulbs, they have the same fittings either end, except these ones have tiny little LEDs. The tools needed to complete this project are a set of screwdrivers, some electrical tape, electrical tester and some electrical connectors. Oh, and some wire cutters and some pliers which aren't in this frame. I started off this project by turning off the breaker to the shop lights. And of course, doing so has made it very dark in here, so I ran a cable from inside the house and then plugged in my TikTok light. Once I'm certain that the power is disconnected, I removed each ball by giving it a corner of a turn and then gently pulling down. I then remove the cover exposing the electrical wires. Now, your strip light should look something like mine, and if it doesn't, this video probably isn't for you. I cut off the wires coming out from the electrical ballast, which is the black box screwed to the light fixture. Coming out of the ballast box should be two yellow wires, a black and a white wire coming out from one side, and then two red and then two blue wires coming from the other. Once the wires were cut, I untangled the wires and then removed the ballast box. Because this light is part of a run of lights, I have two black live wires and two white neutral wires running through it. The black and white wire coming through the center of the light fixture is the main power supply from the breaker. And the other black and white wire going through the end of the light fixture is to supply the next light. I removed the electrical connectors from the live and neutral and separated the both wires. I stripped the ends of the two yellow wires coming from the light fixture, exposing about an inch of the raw copper wire. I then joined the two ends of the yellow cable and the two ends of the white neutral cables together with an electrical connector. I then gave the cables a light pull, making sure they're all connected securely together. I did the same by stripping the ends of the two red wires and the two blue wires coming from the other end of the fixture, exposing about one inch of copper wire again. I then twisted together the ends of the blue and the red cable. And because here there was too many wires to go into one electrical connector, I added a short live wire pigtail to the blue and red wires, connecting them all together with electrical connector. And then repeating the same steps as before, I connected all three of the black live wires together, creating a full circuit. I then applied electrical tape to all the connectors, making sure that nothing will ever come loose. I then reconnected the wire cover, making sure that all the wires are tucked inside it. I then carefully inserted the new LED bulbs by sliding them carefully into position with the pins vertical and then giving them a quarter of a turn locking the bulbs into place. I then finally flicked on the breaker to make sure everything was wired up correctly. Once I was happy, I turned off the breaker again and then continued the same steps on the other lights. 
You can see here that this light fixture is at the end of the run, so it only has one live and one neutral wire coming into it, unlike the other ones that supply the other lights. Though slightly different, it's wired exactly the same, with the yellow wires going into the white neutral wire and the red and the blue wires going into the black live wire. And once I was happy, I flicked back on the breaker and... So this pretty much sums up this video. Thanks so much for following along. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and share with every single person that you know. And if you got any comments or questions, don't hesitate to ask me down below. If you want to go see some more day-to-day -day stuff, go follow me at RadDadBuilds on Instagram. And as always, stay rad. Peace.